the child, was a male false sensitive Mandalorian foundling that belonged to the same species as Jedi Master Yoda and Jedi Master Yaddle. While still an infant at the age of 50 years old, he was sought after by an Imperial who hired a Mandalorian bounty hunter to retrieve him. Hello, welcome to Centaurian's Corner and today we're reviewing the Mandalorian, the child. Now we all know him as Baby Yoda as he uh, completely taken over the internet and um, yeah, he's pretty cool. I mean, there's not much to say about him. Uh, we don't know much about him. Is he a clone of Yoda? Is he just a baby that was from Yoda and Yaddle? Um, we don't know. But uh, nonetheless, we have him now in Black Series form. Now I've put him up here. <laughs> he's very small. Um, so I had to zoom in the camera and put him next, well, even on my spinner. Um, just for a bit of comparison, the size of the packaging, this is a Lego figure. And um, you can just see the sort of size of it compared into my hand, really. It's, um, it's a very small box. But it's all compact and it's still got the reminiscence of a Black Series kind of box. So on the side here we've got the child, um, just written on the child in the black. On the front there's no pencil drawing or anything, unfortunately. Um, but we've got his accessories and all that in the blister bubble there. And on this side there, we've got, well, he's not part of the actual main kind of um, number system. And on the back, we've just got warnings. He's a choking hazard because he's so, so small. But, um, so there's no bio. But um, without further ado, let's just crack this little baby open. So here he is in his blister pack. Uh, obviously there's nothing really to hide or anything like that because the packaging is so small so I don't think they're going to hide anything away but um, yeah we just put him out and take a ganders wow he feels super super small uh, let's just bring, try and bring him into focus but uh, yeah looks pretty cool um, obviously he's not got much articulation and stuff like that, but I'm still going to go away, still going to take some photos with him, and um, we'll see you in a mo. Okay, so been away, taken some photos, and out of all the Black Series figures that I've reviewed recently, I've actually had more fun with this little guy um, for a long while. But um, yeah, I mean, he's pretty cool. Obviously, he's not really too articulate, um, but he comes with a bunch of accessories, probably more accessories than most Black Series comes with. And uh, yeah, I mean, his sculpt looks great. So first of all, we start off with his accessories, and they do come bundled in this nice little kind of um, hard, sort of perspex box. Mine's a bit of a sort of pencil sharpener kind of thing. So it's quite nice that we can keep them safe out of the way because um, yeah, they are very small. So he comes with this little frog, a little thing that in the um, episodes that he eats. And the paint application on there, it's not too bad. I mean, obviously it's just a, a tiny little blue creature, but the sculpt and all that's not all there uh, with it sort of like one eye. And um, it's done all right. It's no articulation or anything on that. It's just kind of like a very soft sort of rubbery kind of vinyl. His other accessory he comes with, I'm just going to put them together because they are small and I know myself that I will drop. He comes with his little uh, cup of soup and also he comes with a little tiny, tiny little ball, uh, which is obviously what the Mandalorian gives him uh, from his ship. And I was just trying to say it how small it is but there it is it's just literally I think I've had a booger bigger than this little thing um, so uh, that's easily one of the things that's just going to go missing so that'll go straight back in that tiny little box because um, he can't really hold it either I mean, he could just probably just lay it in his hand but um, it's just going to roll off and uh, um, unfortunately with his cup as well because of his articulation his arms are just too sort of like stuck outwards so he can't get that little cute kind of sort of two hand kind of pose with it so, um, which is a bit of a shame. But down to the figure itself. So articulation wise, 
Well, he's on the ball joint at the head, his arms are on the ball joint, and we've got a swivel at the wrist. So his arms can go around, but they do pop out like this quite easily. But you just pop them straight back in, so it's fine. Um, you can see like the actual definition of the actual outfit where his arms are supposed to sit. So when, as we rotate around, they go further out from his body. Um, but we've got the rotation there just at his hand, just very slightly. So that's about as much as you're going to get. And his head, yeah, also on the ball. Uh, so we can just pop that off and then pop that back in. And so you get a bit of sort of, well, it's pretty much what the puppet comes with. You know, you can look up just slightly. He can look down inside his sort of outfit, puts his chin into it. And then obviously he can go left and right. His feet as well, they're kind of like articulated. Just ever so slightly, but you know, they're on a ball joint, but you're not really going to do much of those because obviously the outfit sort of takes them all over. Um, but you could kind of put them into a little pose, which gives them a little bit more lift one way to the other. And yeah, and really the only thing that sort of remained in is the sculpt. And I think they've done really well. I think they've done the face really nice. So, you know, you've got the sort of blemishes on there. We've got on there, they've got the sort of redness around the eyes and the black gloss on the eyes are really nice as well and we've got that kind of little cheeky smile and also like the sack kind of sort of outfit as well you know they've got all the sort of lines and the, all the creases in the right place I've got a little bit of paint kind of um, missing bit there on the back but it's just a little I just think it's a little bit of weathering we just keep it as that and it's at the back and then obviously all these prints and other bits are at the bottom there his feet are actually sculpted, but um, obviously the bottom part isn't, but the top parts are. So, um, yeah, they've actually done kudos to the figure itself. It's just a shame. I don't know if I would like it to be a little bit soft goods inside there, so he could actually bring his arms in a little bit closer, uh, which is a shame. But nonetheless, I think they've done him, done him well, and I think they've done him proud, really. It's just he is very small, very, very small. So guys, thanks for joining me on this one. Um, I actually got it from Star Action Figures in the UK. It was twelve ninety five. I had to do the second lot of pre-ordering because I missed out the first time. Um, is he worth it? I think he's worth it. I mean, for the size and the sculpt, what you get. I mean, for twelve ninety five, yeah, it is more than half of a Black Series figure, I guess. But um, I just think the popularity of this sort of figure is not going to last around for long, really. And um, he looks great. You know, he's not a porg. So, um, yeah, once again, guys, you can comment down below. You can follow me on Instagram, which is in the description. And um, I'll see you next time. Take care.